A religious order is a lineage of communities and organizations of people who live in some way set apart from society in accordance with their specific religious devotion, usually characterized by the principles of its founder's religious practice. The order is composed of initiates and, in some traditions, ordained clergy. Religious orders exist in many of the world's religions. Buddhist tradition. In Buddhist societies, a religious order is one of the number of monastic orders of monks and nuns, many of which follow under a different school of teaching, such as Zen. A well-known Chinese Buddhist order is the ancient Shaolin order in Chan Buddhism and in modern times the order of HSU Yun. Christian tradition. Orthodox tradition in the Eastern Orthodox Church, there is only one type of monasticism. The profession of monastics is known as tonsure and is considered by monks to be a sacred mystery. The rite of tonsure is printed in the Eucologin, the same book as the other sacred mysteries and services performed according to need. Catholic tradition A Catholic religious institute is a society whose members pronounce vows that are accepted by a superior in the name of the church and who live a life of brothers or sisters in common. Catholic religious orders and congregations are the two historical categories of Catholic religious institutes. Religious institutes are distinct from secular institutes, another kind of institute of consecrated life, and from lay ecclesial movements. In the Catholic Church, members of religious institutes, unless they are also deacons or priests in holy orders, are not clergy, but belong to the laity. While the state of consecrated life is neither clerical or lay, institutes themselves are classified as one or the other, a clerical institute being one that by reason of the purpose or design intended by the founder or by virtue of legitimate tradition, is under the direction of clerics, assumes the exercise of sacred orders, and is recognized as such by the authority of the church. Well-known Roman Catholic religious institutes, not all of which were classified as orders, rather than congregations, include Augustinians, Benedictines, Carmelites, Dominicans, Franciscans, Jesuits, Piarists, Salesians, Oblates of Mary Immaculate and the Congregation of Holy Cross. Several religious orders evolved during the Crusades to incorporate a military mission thus became religious military orders such as the Knights of the Order of St. John. It is typical of non-monastic religious institutes to have a mother house or generalate that has jurisdiction over any number of dependent religious communities, and for its members to be moved by their superior general to any other of its communities, as the needs of the institute at any one time demand, in accordance with the concept of independent communities in the rule of St. Benedict. The Benedictines have autonomous abbeys, and their members profess stability to the abbey where they make their religious vows. Hence they cannot move, nor be moved by their abbot or abbess, to another abbey. An independent house may occasionally make a new foundation which remains a dependent house until it is granted independence by Roman itself, becomes an abbey. The autonomy of each house does not prevent him being affiliated into congregations, whether national or based on some other joint characteristic, and these, in turn, form the supranational Benedictine Confederation. Anglican tradition religious orders in England were dissolved by King Henry VIII upon the separation of the English Church from Roman primacy. For 300 years, there were no formal religious orders in Anglicanism, although some informal communities, such as that founded by Nicholas Ferrar at Little Gidding, occasionally sprang into being. With the Catholic revival in the Church of England and worldwide Anglicanism in the middle of the 19th century, several orders appeared. In 1841, the First Order for Women was established, and the First Order for Men was founded 25 years later. Consonant with other Catholic orders, Anglican religious voluntarily commit themselves for life, or a term of years, to holding their possessions in common or in trust, to a celibate life in community, and obedience to their rule and constitution. There are presently 13 active religious orders for men, 53 for women, and 8 mixed gender.
Protestant traditions the Methodist Church of Great Britain, and its ancestors, have established a number of orders of deaconesses, who are ordained as both regular and secular clergy. The Methodist diaconal order currently admits both men and women to the order. Since the functions of a deacon are primarily pastoral, the MDO may therefore be regarded as an order of regular clerics. The Order of St. Louis is a religious order in the United Methodist Church dedicated to sacramental and liturgical scholarship, education, and practice. While Martin Luther had concerns with the spiritual value of monastic life, there are Lutheran religious orders in the United States, including the Order of Lutheran Franciscans, also a Lutheran religious order following the rule of St. Benedict, the Congregation of the Servants of Christ, was established at St. Augustine's House in Oxford, Michigan, in 1958 when some other men joined Father Arthur Kreinheder in observing the monastic life and offices of prayer. This order has strong ties to Lutheran Benedictine orders in Sweden and in Germany. In 2011, an Augustinian religious order, the Priestly Society of St. Augustine was established by the Anglo-Lutheran Catholic Church. Its headquarters is at Christ Lutheran Church ALCC, Kent Island, Maryland, and Fr. Jens Bergman, Ph.D., is the Grand Prior, Jehovah's Witnesses among their corporations. The Religious Order of Jehovah's Witnesses cares for matters specific to Jehovah's Witnesses' special full-time servants, in a particular branch, traveling overseers, special pioneers, and branch staff are considered members of the Order of Special Full-Time Servants and the Bethel family. Globally, their order is the Worldwide Order of Special Full-Time Servants of Jehovah's Witnesses. Male and female members of such religious orders typically make a formal vow of poverty and are granted certain status and exemptions by many governments. While Jehovah's Witnesses do not consider members of their religious orders to be a clergy separate from other witnesses, who are also ordained ministers, they do recognize that a government may consider them such for administrative purposes. Jehovah's Witnesses do not have a separate clergy class, but consider an adherent's qualified baptism to constitute his ordination as a minister. Governments have generally recognized that Jehovah's Witnesses' full-time appointees qualify as ministers regardless of sex or appointment as an elder or deacon. The religion itself asserts what is sometimes termed ecclesiastical privilege only for its appointed elders. Islamic Traditions Sufis a tariqa is how a religious order is described in Sufism. It especially refers to the mystical teaching and spiritual practices of such an order with the aim of seeking hakika, ultimate truth. Such tariqas typically have a murshid who plays the role of leader or spiritual director. Members and followers of a tariqa are known as muradin, meaning desirous, viz. desiring the knowledge of knowing God and loving God. Tariqas have Silsilus which is the spiritual lineage of the sheikhs of that order. Almost all orders trace their Silsila back to Prophet Muhammad. Tariqas are spread all over the Muslim world. Shia among Shias, Norbak Shia Islam is an order that blends Sufi principles with Shia doctrine. It claims to trace its direct spiritual lineage and chain to the Islamic prophet Muhammad through Ali, the first Imam of Shia Islam. Salafi There is some historical connection between certain schools of Sufism and the development of Wahhabism and Salafism due to the history of these denominations. Ibn Abd al-Warab was inspired by Ibn Taymiyyah, a 14th-century scholar and dedicated Sufi, who is however remembered mainly as an outspoken critic of the excesses of certain schools of Sufism during his time. Other Traditions A form of ordered religious living is common also in many tribes and religions of Africa and South America, though on a smaller scale, and some parts of England. Due to the unorganized character of these small religious groups, orders are not as visible as in other well-organized religions.